Hi everyone, it's Brad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can invest in real estate while serving in the military. And to do that, I'm going to take you through my career so far. So I've been serving in the Navy for 12 years now, and my first tour was in West Virginia, where I met a guy uh, that I used to talk to a lot about finances and college, uh, investing, um, all kinds of different things, but a lot of our conversations were um, kind of centered around money. And uh, he told me one day this idea that he had where he wanted to uh, buy a house at every command that he went to in his naval career. Uh, and he had done that so far, and he had been in for a little while. And I thought this was really interesting. And because um, I, I wanted to, you know, make money with investing any way that I could. Uh, and this kind of opened my eyes to um, another way to go other than stocks, so real estate, you know. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't buy a house at my first command in West Virginia because I was an E1. I was brand new to the Navy. Uh, I was living in the barracks. They weren't giving me any, they wouldn't let me move out in town or buy a house or anything like that. Um, they weren't giving me any extra money to uh, pay rent or mortgage or anything like that. So I had to wait uh, until I made rank um, uh, to where I could move out of the barracks. Uh, so I was able to move out of the barracks in West Virginia, but I didn't have enough time left at that command for it to make sense to buy a house there. I only had like nine months left or something like that. So I waited until my next command. I got to my next command in Georgia, and that's where I bought my first house. Uh, when I arrived in Georgia, I got um, what's called BAH. If you're in the military, I'm sure you know what this is, basic allowance for housing. So it's extra money that the military gives you to put towards rent or uh, a mortgage if you decide to um, live in housing, like outside of the barracks. So if you're married, you're going to get BAH because you can't be married and live in the barracks most of the time, right? You need a house for your family. So I get to Georgia, I get BAH, and I decide this is where I'm going to start my real estate investing career. Um, so find a house um, with my uh, newly uh, wed wife at the time. Um, you know, we find something that we really love, right off base, really good location for um, military, uh, brand new, and we buy it. So that was a brand new house in 2000, the end of 2011. We paid $183,000 for it. Well, that was the mortgage. We didn't actually pay that. We used a VA, a VA loan, um, which if you're in the military, you don't know about VA loans, go look it up, do some research, fantastic tool. You have to use it if you have it available to you because it's uh, no money down when you're buying a house and it's, uh, it gives you some of the best interest rates available out there. So amazing uh, tool for military to use when they're looking to uh, buy a home. So we use our VA loan, we buy our house in Georgia, $183,000, and we live there and we're paying down mortgage for the three years that we're there. And then it's time to move to our next command. And the housing market in that area hadn't really appreciated at all, and it didn't depreciate either. It just kind of stayed the same. Uh, so the house was still worth around $183,000, some maybe a couple grand in either direction. I don't remember. But it was insignificant to where if we sold the house at the time, we were going to lose money just because you have to pay uh, realtor fees, uh, closing costs and things like that, and that can add up quick. So we hadn't paid enough into uh, our principal on the mortgage to offset those costs. So I was like, okay, we're going to rent it out. Um, so we got a renter in there. Uh, we moved to our next command in Hawaii. And you know, remember that guy at the beginning of the story said, uh, I want to buy a house at every command I go to. I just want this fleet of houses that I'm building up 
over the course of my career, 20 years in the Navy or any branch, doesn't matter. Um, and by the end of your career, you got five, six houses in five, six different locations. You're renting them all out. Um, you're making, you know, your renters are paying your mortgage for you. You've got all this cash flow. You're building up equity in all of these properties. And then you also have the option to sell them and make money if you want. So that was the idea. And I got to Hawaii and they're selling shacks out there for half a million dollars. I'm like, well, this isn't going to work now. Um, so we ended up renting in Hawaii for three years and it felt like I was just taking a pile of money and lighting it on fire every day, every month. Um, I hate renting so much because you feel like you're not, you're just throwing money away. Um, but I didn't have, I just didn't feel like it was worth the risk in Hawaii to put half a million dollars towards something when I wasn't making very much money at the time uh, to where if, that, if the housing market crashed, I couldn't really afford that. Whereas, you know, a, a $183,000 house in Augusta, if the housing market crashes, you're still going to take a big hit on that. If you lose 20% on that, you know, that's 20, almost $40,000. That's, that's huge. Um, but you can continue to rent it out until the housing market comes back and work that back. If you lose 20% on a house in Hawaii that's half a million dollars, you just lost a hundred thousand dollars big difference um so i didn't feel that it was worth the risk in hawaii to buy a house out there so we rented um meanwhile continued to have renters in our georgia house paying down mortgage building up equity all good things so we do three years in hawaii and then we move to tampa that's our our fourth duty station now, our fourth command. And um, the housing market market there was much better than Hawaii. Uh, not as good as Georgia, but still a lot better. It's kind of in the middle. Uh, so the Tampa Bay area, we bought a house two years ago now, almost two years ago, yeah, two years ago now, for uh, $285,000. And We've been fortunate that the value of that house has gone up to about three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars now so just in just in value uh, alone just in principle we've we've made you know two eighty five to three twenty five so that's forty thousand dollars in equity just from the value of the house appreciating over the two years that we've been stationed there. And that doesn't include um, every month we're paying down, um, we're paying towards the principal on the loan, building up equity in the house. Meanwhile, we're renting out the Augusta house still, uh, the Georgia house still, um, to renters out there who are paying down our uh, loan building up equity for us. So uh, just recently we sold that Georgia house. Um, so like I said, we bought it for 183. We ended up selling it and after closing costs, um, realtor costs and things like that, we made $30,000 profit. And that was without that house really appreciating a whole lot in value um, too much. That housing market has stayed pretty flat for a long time now. Um, so that was, you know, we were, we were honestly, we were fortunate with that kind of housing market. We were pretty fortunate to make money and that's, we made money because we stuck it out. We continued to rent that house out, uh, renter after renter and just kept going until we built up enough equity. Uh, we paid down that loan enough to where, it started to look really profitable to sell. Um, so we just recently sold. We made $30,000 off of that. That was fantastic. So now we have the Tampa Bay house. We're paying down 
principle. We are, um, the house is appreciating in value. Uh, and now we're looking at, you know, where are we going for our next command soon? We plan on buying another house there as well. When we move from Tampa, we'll have a decision to make. Are we going to rent it out or are we going to sell? And I, I imagine this is going to be a similar decision I have to make at every command that I leave. Um, is, it worth, is it more worthwhile to sell the house when we leave or to continue to rent it out? And, I, and that just depends on, to me personally, it depends on um, the value of the house at the time uh, compared to the loan that we have on it. If you're underwater, if I'm underwater, I'm probably not going to sell it. I'm going to find a renter, get the renter in there, have the rent renter continue to pay towards my loan for me, build up more equity for me, and then when I get out of water, I can look at selling or continue renting. I'm not going to take a loss. Um, but if I'm above water, if, you know, like I said, we have $40,000 just from appreciation alone that doesn't include what we've paid towards the loan, we have $40,000 in equity uh, in appreciation right now. If I had to make the decision to, to sell or rent it out right now, I might be more likely to sell because I know that it's going to be money in my pocket right now if I sell it. Um, so that's something to think about every time you change commands. Do you want to um, have this 20-year career in the military where you... Uh, buy five, six houses, and you've got renters in all of them, and you're just building up all of this uh, value and cash flow, uh, regardless of if the market is going up or down? Or do you want to build up a little bit of value um, and then sell it and take your 30 grand, 50 grand, whatever, and move on to the next one? There's pros and cons to both of those approaches. Um, so if you are selling and making 30, 50 grand each time, you are limiting your risk, right? You have far less um, debt on the books in your, in your credit, right? I mean, a mortgage is still debt. You know, $300,000 mortgage is still debt on your, on your record. So there's a lot of risk there if the market crashes or something like that or if you lose your job. And it's very hard to lose your job in the military, but it can happen. Um, so there's a lot of risk there. So pros and cons to both sides. Um, but I wanted to get this information out there to help uh, people that are interested in this, in this kind of stuff. So if you're out there watching this video and you're thinking about um, getting into real estate, whether you're in the military or not, honestly, this, this approach, I think, applies to everyone, uh, not just military. I just, you know, this worked for me because I'm in the military and I was moving every three years and I was, uh, I had an opportunity to, to get into a new housing market and buy another house and things like that. So, um, things to think about. That's all I've got for this video. Um, if you liked it, please consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leaving a comment below. That helps my channel out a lot. And if you subscribe, you'll get to see more content like this. So, thanks everyone.